Hello there, Linker here, and I hear you. I really do. You people liked being advanced planning with the first set of box reviews. In this video, we're going to go through the ups and downs of two special accounts approaching the end game. If you're enjoying the superior content, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell, and if you're truly courageous, join us for the streams for a chance to have your own review. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Josh, leader of Dark Union, our Cloud Strife has been a solid, dedicated watcher. So we're gonna critique him and we're gonna hold him to a high standard. I don't think, I don't think at this point, like if you're this far into it, I don't think it's okay to not know some of the basics. So let's talk about, first of all, not spending the tree resources. Not knowing the tree, this could be cause a cap or something that is planned. However, uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of the amount of unspent resources, like obviously saving um, the uh, saving the XP makes sense, saving the gold makes sense because as you progress through campaign you're gonna get more of that. But saving the dust does not make sense because dust rewards are static. You gain the same amount of dust that you do uh, in uh, past ages, I can show this later. So dust, I don't get why you would save up to 71, maybe you just didn't need it or something. I don't know. I can't necessarily criticize that, but let's talk about it a little bit more. And we're seeing a lot of gear tokens, so I bet you're using your gold recently for stuff like emblems, which is fine. I'm seeing some horrid vibes. For example, Nero skin, there's no reason to not use that skin if you got it, you know? Also, what are these? 11 chests, 26 chests, these do not improve over time. I would just use them to have access to the resources so that you can progress forward faster and get more at this point. Nonetheless, uh, nothing too, too big. Gwyneth, full investment. Lucius furniture. What is that? Why do we have furniture on Lucius? Uh, furniture on Rosa, I can assume this is an OG mistake, but we now know it's not as good. The rest look really sensical. I like the not much investment into Belinda. I like where you're going with that. I think you're missing Rain, which seems like recently she, like her strong buff, you will definitely want to grab Rain. And with this little amount of Rain's I'm assuming you foddered her. Now in the patch foddering, Rain was fine, but at the moment right now, Rain is actually in the top. I mean, considering new guy and Gwyneth and everything, she's probably still in the top three light bearers. So I would definitely try to get her. Works great with irons, especially with her furniture. Two emblems for monthly? Oh my God, then this guy's really hoarding hard. Okay, good input chat, good input. Next up, Maulers. We have no furniture. What is that? How does he not have furniture? Strife. My goodness, Sophia, we see not over investing into Sophia. Where did the other investment go though? No furniture on Scrag yet. I mean, the levels are fine, but I'm a little bit curious. Where is your investment going into? The only thing I'm a little bit upset about, Titus could have used some more investment, some love. Uh, Scrag could have used some more furniture. All right, so we see the wielders. We see a very strong Tassie, I think. It's all right if you consider what he already has. Also, I like the plus 20 plus three on Leica. Plus 20 plus 3 is a great point to be in. Uh, Aaron full investment. Tassie, I mean, it's fine. It's a little bit big, but I think it's fine. Lorsen, you will be using Lorsen. You should at least get us plus 1 for good measures. And Nomura. So Nomura plus 3 is not good, but if you're taking that all the way to plus 9, it's decent. So it's up to you. It's a little bit niche if you're doing that. So I think it can deduce a little bit of points because whether you just got it to plus 3, which is a mistake because the plus 3 doesn't do anything really, or you're going all the way to plus nine. Neither of these really make sense to me. But the rest is pretty sensical. So you see Aaron, Tassie, uh, Soros, and Laika at the right points. Lorsen should have some more love. Graveborn, it's not over investing into, into Shamira. Maybe invested into Grezel, seeing the rise of Grezel, or perhaps uh, you already invested into him as an OG. That's fine too. Salas, I'm seeing the plus three, which is perfectly fine, but he would use some like uh, more investment into the signature item at this point. I'm not dedicating points for that, it's just a note. As for Nora, if you got her 15, we're friends, otherwise we have some issues. As you people know, the difference between Nora's uh, plus one, plus 10, and plus 20 is nothing. You should get her at every five level. So Nora five is good, Nora 15 is good. Nora 10 and 20 is bad, so if this Nora is 10, that is bad. If this Nora is 15, it's good. Working on Scrag Titus Kriath right now, says Cloud Strife. Titus and Skriath are over at 20. Titus and Skriath, Skriath at 20? I don't know about that. You have a, a couple others that you might want to invest in. Like Scrag 20 is decent, you know? Brutus 20 is decent. Numisu 15 is good, but just keep that in mind. 
Anyways, I'm seeing a good invested Isolt. I like the plus 30 on Damon. Uh, fair all of this in level of investment. Looks pretty good. If the Nar is plus 15, I think this is uh, there's not much to criticize here. Moving forward into the Celestial. So Twins 30 is a common misconception. They don't get much out of 30. They don't get magic resistance out of 30 and the ability is only a small, small marginal gain considering the fact they don't do damage. I'm seeing the Talene skin, imagine. I'm seeing the high investment into Athalia. This is probably an OG thing. You also clarified this earlier. However, I'm not seeing the Alna. I'm not seeing the Orthos. So not a huge investment into the uh, Celestials. Not a lot of investment into Hypos either. I would anticipate you'd start gazing a little bit earlier. I wanted to see Lucretia up. At this point, uh, you could get her up. You could afford to. I think your level's very, very high, but your hero pool is not as much. This is what a low spending account looks like to me. However, I think your hero pool, in terms of especially high potions, is a little bit missing. When you need that extra bonus, Aziz is not as functional. Your god comp right now is severely limited. It's going to be Talene Twins Rowan. Um, oh, the Mahira is not yet at the level of signature item where it's prominent, and the Aziz is not going to be at full investment. Anyways, I do like seeing the Mortis at the late plus, that's something that's important, and I do see that the, you're only missing one piece of Aziz, so perhaps it's less bad than I am thinking. Um, no Nanan furniture, that's a good point, so I'm seeing you kind of spread across the threes. This could also be a matter of luck, but there's some heroes that definitely could enjoy their nines, uh, if we're talking Aaron, if we're talking Isolde, there's certain heroes that have great nine abilities that you should definitely look into and lastly the dimensional so iron's good point of investment you can clearly see the presence of mine in the terms that he knows that even when the new heroes come out and he did not spend a lot of his resources instantly bump irons all the way up to 30 albedo all the way up to 30 got the irons to three with albedo's mistranslation fixed like the ability used to only work in irons now it works in all allies three is actually a decent choice it's not even that much of a big mistake also ezio's benchmark is in 25 so consider getting him to that if you have it nonetheless it, it mostly makes sense or just anticipate you'd have more um start gazing a little bit earlier than you did and uh, some reposition of uh, some uh, resources here like lucius 3 stuff like that i don't know like Lorsan having the plus one, which he should have. Like uh, Namor 3, which I feel like is incredibly niche, considering the fact you haven't got some of the really, really necessary, crucial pieces that you need. Overall, decent box. I'm going to rate it 7.5 out of 10. I dislike, like, all right, there's a little bit of hoarding here that I think you get rid of. For example, dust does not scale, chest does not scale, so you can just open them and kind of blast away. Second, you do he have some heroes that you will want. So Lorsan plus one, we said, but as for other points of investment so just investing all the way in Mahira to get a plus 30 you won't regret it should be great all that father makes me jelly i think he's just hoarding the father i think it's just at the more advanced point he's still father struck but he's hoarding the father alongside the heroes like we still don't see rain here for example you know okay overall great account cloud strife or josh thank you so much for that submission i think you're doing a good job with that account, I think Dark Union have a lot to learn here. I would pay attention to the food notes that we did say. I'll take a seven and a half. Thanks, man. Thank you, Cloud Strife, for having the guts to come on this show. Not many people do, and I hope this was insightful. All right, so for the next box review. Oh, is this a new box? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Zapper, let's see where did you get through. Oh my goodness. What am I seeing over here? Rose a 9 out of 9. Gwyneth 9 out of 9. Rowan not plus 30. What is this? What? <laughs> I didn't think this is the box he showed me, Zapper. As soon as I finish Cassard, I will push chapter. Okay. Zapper, I didn't think I saw this ever before. Factional plan, reign over Oscar. I agree that Rain is over Oscar, but some of these are going to be pretty hot takes. My goodness. Okay. All right, chat. You, if, if you're side tabbed on this, if you're not watching the stream in the main tab, you'll want to come here just a second. I won't take much of your time. Chat, will you find the, the issue in the image? Will you find... Let me just let me just quickly here uh, move uh, Elucard, Elward over. Let me just... This, there we go. All right. Now we good. Now we Gucci. He's covering windows things. All right, Rowan is plus 10, Rosaline is plus 30. Rowan is plus three, Rosaline is plus nine, Gwyneth is plus nine. 
All right, all right. This is just like a whole like mess. Okay, so I know I did make the video linker substitutions. If you're a true linker OG fan, what you'll remember is this video, right? So in this video, this video over here, sure, I had the Rowan and then the Rosaline had those red eyes, right? We, we had the memes, okay? We had the memes. However, tearless or not, for me, V2 is absolutely correct. Yeah, these are bad priorities. I don't think it's thrilled the three piece furniture is to be prioritized like before most anything that you probably have over there. I think Rosalie 99, I mean Rosalie 99 is back so you probably don't need it. Uh, Gwyneth 99 is very niche to spec into unless you're using a care 100% of the time. I don't think it's very, very crucial. I think there's other points to invest in. And where is Rowan's signature item 30? Also, why does Belinda have three? It's like the more you look at it. And why did you ascend Thane before Rain? My goodness, Zapper, this is a mess. Rose, my first plus 30. Okay, well, why is she plus 9, though? <laughs> uh, maybe it's because it was the first plus 30, so you buffed her. All right, going forward. Going forward. Sophia, slight overinvestment from my end. I wouldn't do it plus 30. I would do it plus 20 or plus 10. Plus 3 also in the current sets where she sees used, which is going to be burst. It's not that relevant. Not that relevant. Griath plus 20, a little bit weird. I mean, that one is fine, but Sophia and Rowan are going to be the big ones. Um, Titus invested. All right, that I like. Scrag invested somewhat. Uh, we'll enjoy 99 piece furniture, but you could be working on that, so I don't want to be flaming that for no reason. And Numisu, that's a little bit weird for my taste, but I guess it's fine. I guess. I mean, you're probably not using it, but I guess it's theoretically fine if you can find a use from like an iron set or something. All right, Aaron still not 30. So list of things that should be plus 30. Number one, Aaron. Number two, Rowan. Um, Source has three piece furniture. Does not need that three piece, but I guess you didn't know that. Um, now that we have Fable and you're close to it. I mean, they are changing Fable, so maybe it'll be useful for playing stats alone. I actually don't want to criticize that part. Tassie, I hope that's plus 15. If it's plus 10, uh, we have issues. She needs to haste. I use Numisu. Why is he just mythic? Well, why do you have like, I don't know, like work and work ahead of him? You can even like get him right now. Like, why do you need... You're not going to use Entand right now. This is the point where you start foddering like... Um, ascended tier heroes. I would fodder and tander here any day. It will help you in campaign, it'll help you in Molly Tower, you'll get much more out of that. I would fodder and tander then. Uh, faction plan Numisi, Numisi, and uh, Drez Kren. Uh, I would uh, possibly consider Kren over Drez. Just saying. Aaron signature item, where is that? Tassie, I hope that's plus 15. A uh, faction people to cash, that's good. Going forward. Um, Thorin, no despicable cheeser, love it. Baden, what is that plus three doing over there? Um, I guess Feral is like fine. Uh, Nara, I hope that's plus 15. Isold, pretty good. Odin, well Odin, I think with your specific box is actually not that big of a hot thing, especially since it's buff, you know? I, I would normally flame you for Odin, but yo, good for you, you know what, good for you. Also Shamira, just for TR, consider getting her on level. Maybe consider that. By no means advocating investing in the late game, but maybe it's actually gonna get have decent return on investment on TR. Because you're like a little bit more advanced, because you know what I mean by this, I feel comfortable giving you uh, advanced advice saying, you know, like don't invest into Shamir, but actually get her to be usable in TR. Odin, I, I like it. I like it. It's a hot take, but I like that one. Especially if you use Isold all the time, now leveling Salas, I bet. What's gonna be the plan here? Salas, Kelter, Theowin, love it. Love it. No despicable cheesing too. Uh, as for uh, Celestials, so not a lot of gazing on Zapper. We do see the OG Athalia plus 30. Med invested. Where is that plus 30 on Rowan? Where is that plus 30 on Aaron? Anyways, she does need like mainly her plus 20 for most factionality as for now. Uh, and we do see the Lucretia. I like the Lucretia, but I'm missing the twins. So yes, yeah, so you should be working on twins here. You can get the God Comp. You're at the stage where you do need the God Comp. So yeah. Why Talene and Twins are needed at all? Joke. <laughs> we'll start games. I'll not if I finish. Cash, I don't know. Oh, you're doing cash. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, I guess Kessler did find new use in chapter 39, 38, but I think for you, there's going to be some easier heroes to use. Well, he is viable. Yo, if you like Kazard, you do use Zapper. Have fun, go all the way. But if you want easier times, I would also like look towards God Comp and Twins and stuff like that. You know what I mean? As for Dimensionals, oh man. Oh, chat. Can I get an F in the chat? Can I get an F in the chat for this? Can I get a bunch of Fs in the chat for this sentence over here? So this is another part. If you're tabbed, if you're in the meantime, if you're doing whatever, if you're programming, I, I just need you like to, to see what was going to go down with this review. I just need you to see this little sentence over here. Uh, just read that. Just read that. Just see where, where that's going. Zapper, I hope my advice will help you direct things in a way that will fix this. But sadly, in servers with Ainz, Ainz is going to be a pretty meaningful hero. <laughs> Pretty good hero. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be easy to overcome. I think you're gonna see a lot of replays with Ainz. And I think it's gonna be a little bit of an issue. So yeah, so no Ainz, big Fs in the chat. I agree, Ainz is boring as hell. Okay, Ducleto. Okay. No Damon too, I think. Oh, wait, what? There's no Damon here. Yeah, Salas is great, but where's Damon? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is just getting... My goodness, Zapper, thank you for the submission. And I, I really appreciate you. But and, and I hope that you can take this to a good place. But but I don't I think this box might not be perfect. I think this box might not be perfect, but it's your box, and that's what matters. So what would be your sets? I I, I see like Lucretia, probably some sort of a dim set, maybe with Gwyneth. Didn't take Ezio too, that's a shame as well. So yeah, and and with all these light bears, you're only 301 with light bears? I guess. So Zapper actually invested strongly into light bears, not into as much into other factions. Like you see, Gwyneth, Rosaline, Rowan, Estrill, they're all invested, right? Even Hendrik decently invested. And you still see, I'm gonna scroll like a spastic for a few more seconds. And we still see pretty low on light bear tower. I don't get that. We do see the advancement on Forsaken and Propolis, but this does not justify the lack of Daemon. And the world tree is lagging behind, perhaps because Aaron does not have his plus 30. In the meantime, you are figuring out main king style, which I appreciate you being able to do that. As for tree, let's see, tree. Oh, max virtue level 50. You need to get your celerity. You need to get your celerity. Like, what are you doing with these? You, you have a fantastic celerity set. Like one thing you actually have, you don't have sorcery and irons and stuff, but you do have celerity. Like you have Lucretia very early. You have Athalia, that's the only celestial. You have two strong celerity heroes. Like you look at this, you have Feral invested. You have like, your, your roster is so celerity. Like you have an Aaron set that needs the celerity bonus to actually work with Laika. You have like the Titus invested. The Q, like, and the Gwyneth. Celerity 50 is going to be what you need. I would argue that uh, with your pull, you might be able to even push sustenance to the side in favor of might because a hero is like Isol, not going to look deeper into it. But uh, if I'm you, I find a way to kind of fit everything in a way that has celerity. Do follow the tree guide. I think it applies uh, here pretty well. I'll pump supports to level 47. I don't think you need supports to 47 as much as you need celerity at 50. The bonus is huge. You're still talking about plus 30 haste. Incredible. Alongside dodge, alongside accuracy. A lot of good stats you have to still grab on the celerity tree. And as for the furniture priorities, uh, Sophia to 9 is going to be a hot take. Saurus to 9, I would remove that knowing what's up with Fable. You, know, you don't stand much to gain from that. Elika is fine, um, Azul is fine, Athalia is fine, Lucretia I like actually, Cecilia, even with the new guy I don't think justifies it, Grezel, I see the rise in the meta but I don't think you need him quite yet, Aziz, I appreciate how you're building on your god comp, probably with the source, which is good, and Alberta without Ainz, I don't think she's that big of a priority, so like I would change 4 to 5 here, depends, I would change 4 to 5, I'll accept Athalia and Alberta, I plan to do 9-9. Nine, nine. Cecilia 99? Alright, you do you. <laughs> and Gressel 99? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, Zapper, let's talk for a second. Uh, Zapper, I think you are doing your own thing and you're doing it well because you are progressing an endgame campaign. Like for you, criticize people criticizing this account. 
Remember the Zapper is doing their own thing. They took it all the way to 3340, which is going to be delayed to end the game. This is pre-nerf. If you're watching the VOD after the campaign nerf, this was done pre-nerf, which is pretty, pretty good. So I like the progress that Zapper has been able to make with their own account. I like what they're doing, but... That's not how I would build my own account. As you see, people with the Ainz profiles, as you see all of that, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Big investments into things I wouldn't do. I'm sad to say for me, this account would be a 4 out of 10. But I think, first of all, you're doing your own thing. Second, uh, if you really want to spec towards the end game, like do the critical things we talked about. Grab Rowan, grab Dame, and do all of that. Otherwise, you do your own thing and you have fun doing it. Let me know how it works for you. So... Zapper, thank you so much for the courageous submission. Thank you so, so much for the courageous submission today. Appreciate it. And we are back. That second account had me good. I respect the kind of people that send these in through. So we went over the accounts, flamed where it's needed, gave constructive advice every single time though. Let me know below if you like this kind of a serious comment. Let me know you liked it, you don't. I really like all kinds of feedback from you. And if you did enjoy it, consider joining us. We have a new r slash linker subreddit, the streams you just saw. Many members will help me so much. Anybody who hit join, thank you so much for that. Like and subscribe to help us stay on top of the algorithm. Really need your help there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon and I've been Linker. Peace.